Patience Barker Jonathan is a former First Lady of Nigeria and the wife of former President of Nigeria, Good Luck Jonathan. She has served as a permanent secretary in her native Belsa state. Education Born in Port Harcourt, she earned her school certificate in 1976, and passed the West African School Certificate Examination in 1980. In 1989, she obtained the National Certificate of Education in Mathematics and Biology from the Rivers State College of Arts and Science, Port Harcourt. She then proceeded to the University of Port Harcourt and studied for a B.Ed. in Biology and Psychology. She has a Ph.D. from University of Port Harcourt. Career Jonathan started her career as a teacher at the Stella Maris College, Port Harcourt and Sports Institute as AIC. She then moved to the banking sector in 1997, where she established the first community bank in Port Harcourt called the ACPO Community Bank. She served as marketing manager of Imiat Community Bank. She returned to the classroom briefly again as a teacher. Eventually she was transferred to the Belsa State Ministry of Education, where she served until May 29, 1999 when her husband became the deputy governor of the state. On July 12, 2012, she was appointed as permanent secretary in Belsa State by a governor, Henry Sarayak Dixon, who was helped to his governorship position by her husband. The appointment caused national outrage and ridicule considering she had been on leave from the civil service for over 13 years, since her husband became deputy governor in 1999, and some critics argued it was a national embarrassment highlighting there was no merit or evidence of any recent performance to warrant a promotion to the peak of the civil service. She and her husband have two children. Philanthropic work, Jonathan has been recognized locally, nationally and internationally for her philanthropic work and political pragmatism. She received the Beyond the Tears International Humanitarian Award New York, USA, in 2008 for her role in the global fight against HIV-AIDS. The African Goodwill Ambassador Award and the recipient of the Wind of Change Award from the South South Women a Euro Unregistered Trademark S Organization. When Good Luck Jonathan served as governor between 2005 and 2007, Patience Jonathan served the state in the capacity of the First Lady of Belsa State. During this period, she founded many philanthropic and women empowerment programs, among them are the Aorari Chout Foundation, which she set up to improve the status and earning capacity of Nigerian women and youths. The foundation already has its focus on supporting and assisting children with heart-related problems. Other It was announced September 4, 2012, that she was hospitalized in Germany following a severe bout of food poisoning that lasted for days. Jonathan fell sick about ten days earlier following her hosting of a summit of First Ladies from across Africa. Jonathan was discharged from the Horst Schmidt Klinik in Wiesbaden on October 2, 2012. When the national media noticed her unusual disappearance from public view, the approach of her office was to initially lie to the taxpayers by denying she was in Germany to utilize the high-quality healthcare provision of the country. Her spokesman, Aru Sinlu, released a statement lying that she had only gone to Germany to take time off to rest, and not for medical purposes. This was to avoid highlighting the presidential family were avoiding using the low-quality healthcare system provided for the Nigerian citizens and prefer higher-quality foreign provisions for themselves at taxpayers' expense when needed. Patients Jonathan was involved in controversy during the crisis over 230 Chibok girls abducted by Boko Haram in northeast Nigeria. After a meeting she convened in May 2014 with representatives of the Chibok community, whose children had been abducted, there were reports that one of the leaders, Naomi Mutar, had been detained by police. It was alleged that Mrs. Jonathan had reportedly felt slighted that the mothers of the abducted girls had sent Ms. Mutar to the meeting. Immediately after the meeting, Ms. Mutar was taken to a police station and held. Pogo Bitrus, another Chibok community leader, described the detention as unfortunate and insensitive, and said he hoped Mrs. Jonathan would soon realize her mistake. Mrs. Jonathan has no constitutional power to order arrests. BBC News reported another community leader, Sir Rachel Angus and Erpea, as saying that Mrs. Jonathan accused the activists of fabricating the abductions to give the government a bad name. 
it reported that she also said the First Lady accused them of supporting Boko Haram. See also List of people from Port Harcourt References <laughs>